I mean, that's what I was saying. It, it's a lot different in Smash 4. The low tiers are much more viable in... Which, like, you could say there's, like, like an F tier in, uh... You could say that, like, Kirby and Ness and Game & Watch and Melee are F tier, but I don't think there's an F tier exists in, uh... In Smash 4. I think it goes from S to D. Like, you have S tier, which is, like... Probably, at this point, is... Well, I don't know how the ban Bayon nerfs are, but she seems really bad now. Probably like in no order: Sheik, Rosa, Cloud, Ryu. ZSS. I wouldn't put ZSS in S tier anymore. I put her in A. Yeah, and then. Zero <laughs> and then oh, we got a shield break, and then he falls off the. He gets pushed off the edge. That has to feel really bad. I hate. I hate when that happens so much. Fox got his shield broken, and then Mario did a neutral get up from the edge and pushed Fox from the from the edge of the stage onto the edge, <laughs> like he grabbed the edge. Wow. But and then you have A tier, which is like your Foxes, your Marios, etc. B tier, which is probably like your Pits, oh! <laughs> Pits, Ooh, Pits, right Lucarios, uh, Donkey Kongs. Buddha just going ham, and then gets dunked. We tech those. <laughs> and I would say C tier is like most of the other characters, like Bowser Jr. Um, who are other not so great? Bowser Jr. Rob would probably be B tier. Uh, C tier like Doctor Mario. And then in D tier, you have a very few characters. I would say like D tier is probably Zelda, Puff, Zelda, Puff, Ganon, Lucina. No, I'd put Lucina in C. Where'd you put Mac? Uh, lower C. Lower C. And then D tier is probably like Ganon, Samus, um, Duck Hunt. Oh yeah, I keep and, on forgetting Duck Hunt's in this game. And like Dr. Mario, that's about it. And then like, those are the only, like, so there's like four like really bad characters, I would say, and then everyone else you can do alright with it during it. Of course you're hindering yourself if you pick Little Mac versus Rosalina. But really, I never had a <laughs> Rosalina problem. Well, I mean, it. Uh, I'm not saying the matchup. I'm saying like which character is most likely to succeed in tournament. Okay. Which one has the fewest bad matchups? Okay, I I'll give you that one. <laughs> uh, I thought you were reading the head-on hit. No, no, no. I was like, I don't never had a problem with Rosa. You kill the stupid star first, yeah. and then cakewalk. No, yeah, not not the direct matchup, but the uh, the overall matchups. Well, yeah, I'm actually surprised uh, Muse Buddha is doing pretty well against Bell Pepper and Wreck. Yeah, they, they actually have a pretty substantial lead at this point. They also they have a great team synergy going on right now. They're yeah. just doing combos off of each other. Yeah, you know, people always uh, that's something I never get. And when people talk about doubles, like I I'm gonna bring up melee because that's like the like that melee has like more established teams and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Like Pew Pew Yu and S Fat, for instance. People always say, you know, oh, the Pew Fat synergy. And, like, I don't understand what they mean by that. Because people always use the term synergy and doubles. And I was like, do like, people don't expl explicitly team with somebody because, like, oh, we synergize well. It's it's because, like, oh, we're friends, right? I don't understand what synergy in Smash Bros. doubles means. I think with me and my brother. It means, like, you know, like, not hitting each other, obviously, knowing what the other person is going to do. Well, I think if you watch, like, Wreck and Bell Pepper, like, you could see them, like, doing so many team combos off another. Like, yeah. they know where to place after each a hit. But that, but you could... Like situational awareness. True. Like, in knowing what your opponent's doing, and because, like, double team kind of want to respect their space. Mm -hmm. And knowing what they're trying to do. Because you, back down. But you can't really say, like, I double is, because they're my friend, because I double with my brother, and he's uh, <laughs> cruel to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, in terms of... How, it's it's hard to put into words what I'm trying to say. Like, like if you, if you just get like see like oh he knows how to combo well with them. If you just get a player who understands the game really well, and they know what the other person would like to do, then they just have they just have the game knowledge to know like oh Mario's about to back air him. It sends him this far, so I'm going to go to the right spot and throw an attack that hits him back towards the Mario, for instance. Were they just at Smashville? Yeah. So the salty run back here. Starterville. Charge down smash, probably not the most optimal punish, but whatever gets the job done. He was trying to go for both. <laughs> I think that's what he's... Oh, uh, maybe. 
Mario should uh, up B out of these Fox up tilt strings. Mario's up B is a super good out of free. Uh oh. Yep, that Ooh. was. I think that was untackable. Toilet flush. Yeah. You do not like Fox. Fox versus Luigi off the stage. Ooh. Jab up. Jab up B. Come on. Is it 2008? Are we playing Brawl? That shouldn't. That doesn't work. That shouldn't work. <laughs> but it does. It's true. <laughs> it should. No. That that should not work ever. Jab. The knockback. Sure you can. The knockback doesn't push <laughs> you back far enough. I mean, it, but you have enough time to shield or do anything. But I mean, it beats you if you uh, if you don't press a button. Buddha did great on bringing it back for yeah. his team. Look at that up smash. If I were a uh, blue team in this instance, I would not want the fox to pl to fight the Luigi. Yeah, same. Because uh, he's at risk for Gimp's like. I, I wouldn't say the matchup's really bad for Fox, but off the stage, it's Ooh. really bad for Fox. And DI's for days. What I don't understand is why aren't they going like, oh, toilet flush? I, take out Muse. Uh, nope, bomb didn't go off the time. I was going to say, he had a bomb in his hand, but it didn't, the fuse was too long. Yeah. Pretty nice going high there by Buddha. One thing the that's different from last game um, was that, like, Muse and Buddha were targeting one character at a time. Now they're just pretty much doing 1v1s on opposite sides, and it's really showing that. Yeah. And I, I think that's, um, I think, I don't know if it's if it's intentional, but uh, I think having Bell Pepper fight Buddha is most advantageous for Red. Oh, definitely. Just because of, like, we, we've seen it once. We're probably going to get it again. Oh, no, he, uh, what he, what he did there, I guarantee what happened with Bell Pepper when he did that get up attack from Edge? He pressed down and B, but the down, the he pressed down too soon, so it didn't come out and uh, wasn't in the buffer window. And then the B came out and registered as a get up attack. Because I guarantee you, he's trying to tornado B. Ooh, sure you, his own teammate. Sure you, his partner. That would have been pretty devastating. So poor but brothers. He got hit. He got hit by a bomb, so he didn't die. Because at 75, oh. he absolutely should have. We tech those, but bomb? Nope. Too late. Uh, that, I don't know if that was the thing is like, because there are untackables. I don't know if that was necessarily tackable. So now we got Fox, who he can gimp pretty well, but once uh, again Luigi yeah, thinks in. Yeah, that's smash. a really that's a very long uphill battle for Buddha. Fox. Yeah. And plus, with the invincible heads of the Mario Brothers, they're an up smash. Ugh. Yeah. That's just brutal. Is this Alpha's tournament? No, it is not. Alpha is just here to stream the event because he's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. <laughs> mm. BP out here like he's playing Ryu. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um. He's streaming it so people can see it and are exposed to OK Smash. The thing is about this event is it wasn't uh, not taking any shots at any of the tournament organizers or anything, but um, mm -hmm. uh, this this event wasn't uh, publicized as well as it should have been. So the, I think the turnout's going to be pretty low, which is sad. We I mean we had um, a Tulsa Weekly on Wednesday and it had 49, which is 49. pretty good numbers for uh, Oklahoma. The thing is about a lot of the, uh, all of like the western states, or like southwestern western states, is that the states are so po like there's no population density, so it's really hard to get really big tournaments. Like we have tournaments all over the place, but it's really hard to get like one big one. Whereas if if you live in a really big metro area, like you know like on the east coast or many places in Texas, Georgia, Florida, things like that, yeah, it's really easy to get you know 80, 100 man tournaments because you have 3 million people that live within 150 square miles. <laughs> However, in Oklahoma, you have 4 million people that live within the entire state. So it's really hard to get everybody to come to one event just because the, the distance is so is so great. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, like, like, going to, like, going to a, uh, a Oklahoma City tournament for the Tulsa guys... That's pretty much like, if you live on the East Coast, that's like going to an out-of-state tournament. So that's uh, that's some of the problems that, uh, that's why you don't see a lot of the, uh, 
a lot of the Western, especially the Northwest, Northwest has it the worst, but a lot of the Western states in America have a lot less developed Smash scenes. Yeah. Simply because uh, they're not allowed to get in as much quality practice with top players because the top players have a lot more distance, so they, they don't get to go to the same tournaments Ooh. all the time. Was that a karate chop? No, that was up smash. Okay. No, Luigi's karate chop. The, the, the up tilt's really bad in this game. <laughs> and it looks like uh, Wreck Bell Pepper have gotten their footing a little bit because they are off to a very substantial lead within the first two minutes of this match. Well, one thing that I've noticed was that the Fox player has been uh, really focused in fighting in the air, which really he's better on the ground. Yeah. I, I think I think the the bell pepper rex strat has been to isolate one v ones with Luigi on the fox, and I w blue team should try to adapt to that. And try to force two v twos versus just um, trying to isolate because I think the I think that the I wouldn't necessarily say the skill tap skill gap between uh, no he's fine but yeah. he's living and up smash will take it. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say the skill gap between Bell Pepper and Buddha is super vast, but I think that the way that the, that doubles plays out is usually whenever it has people fighting near each edge, and uh, you don't want Fox fighting Luigi at the edge. Oh yeah, definitely, because the toilet flush and also his uh, karate chops and all that, he could just give Fox a bad yeah. time. The, the Cyclone Vimp prevents Fox from covering from low, and Fireballs rip uh, prevent him from uh, side being to the edge. It's a bad time for Fox off the stage. It is a real bad time. So, what do you think they're going to go next? Place um, that will be good for Fox or Toon Link? Oh, they're Dreamland. going back. Yeah, it's fine. It's really hard to counter pick in doubles because usually you have, usually an ideal team covers each other's weaknesses. So that means that usually a good stage for one is a bad stage for another. Yeah. I mean, that's an ideal team. Doesn't doesn't mean it necessarily happens all the time. But. Ooh. Nah, he's 11. That, that doesn't work. And just like that, Fox is Fox is off the stage. Gets back thrown. And back air. He's still living, though. Yep, no rage on Luigi. You see, just Toon, like we were saying. Yeah, fortunately, Toon Link came over there to help him because if uh, Toon Link wasn't in the area, then that was a dead fox. And there's a dead fox. Just runs in, eats an up smash. Oh, yeah, I saw B. I saw that coming. I was I was like, Toon Link's about to get hit. And uh, there's the toilet flush and pineapple. He he would have lived if he got the angle right because I don't think he I don't think that uh, Bell Pepper timed the down air correctly because he wasn't able to get on top of him in time. They're really having a bad time with Bell Pepper in the air. They need to put him on the ground. I mean, I mean, Luigi's, he's really good in the air as long as he's not, like, really <laughs> high up in the air. He's good at, he's really good at short hop height and no higher. Because if he's actually, if he's actually above somebody, it's where he has to down air. Luigi's down air has, like, no range. Oh, yeah. And a thing such as a Toon Link up air will keep him in the air all day. Buddha keeps on trying to get the Buddha, uh, well not Buddha, but Fox Gimp. Boy. Yeah. And that's what's really butchering him because he's challenging Luigi on the edge. And I mean, I think I think at this point he, he needs to uh, get an early kill, otherwise they're not going to really have a chance of winning. Yeah. It's five to three right now. Yeah, and it's a it's a really generous three because they're both at super high percent. Like one smash, and there's well, it's a lighter rip, you know. There's blade. Sometimes you get <laughs> sometimes you get caught in the crossfire, and that's just something you have to accept whenever you're uh, you're throwing out up smashes. Oh, that was way too soon. Come on, man. He's just <laughs> going for the hard reads. Nah, he's going for the suicide kill. Hey, if he gets it, he got the style. He sees he, he, he sees the stock count. They got they got the stocks. They got the style. Might as well. And there's a life of Mar oh, no, he's the fine. eyes. No, no rage from center stage. Back throw, that's... Not going to kill. I'm actually super surprised I didn't kill the Fox. But that will. Yup. Rip. Fox is gone. 
which leads to Tink with the Mario Brothers. If I was in Bell Pepper's shoes, I would have uh, styled, jumped on the platform, waited for him to land, and then upbeat. Sure, you can finish it. I mean, it's hard to know if they're going to fall on the platform, if they're going to go through the stage. That's, that's pretty hard to hit, actually. And the spike. Oh, wow. I'll say, is Mario Ford ever to kill Tumic off the top? That would have been pretty funny. But there's an up smash that will do it. Who would have thought up smash closes it out? Mario Bros? What? Up smash? <laughs> <laughs>